Hey y'all, I'm Kate with Salty Katie, and today I thought I would show you my <laughs> oldest, at least that I still have possession of, my oldest planners. Um, these date from 2010, um, before I really started carrying a serious uh, paper planner, and I found them super interesting to look at, and they are sort of going to inform how I'm going to do my trackers in my A5 Slim Jibun Techo, and I, th I thought it might be fun to show them to y'all as well. They are a hot mess. Every kind of pen <laughs> I could find, I used every ugly old <laughs> highlighter, everything. Um, but to me, actually, the most interesting part of it is the mileage I recorded in these. Um, <clears throat> I started running pretty heavily in... Um, 2011 uh, where I was actually making you know several miles at a time and I recorded all that in these little month at a glance dollar planners <laughs> um, I find them and they're super worn in because I flipped through them that many times um, I wrote in them constantly. I used them constantly. Um, and then as my running and triathlon career started progressing, I, I started kind of pouring over them, looking at the mileage and looking at the history and looking at how it was going. If you've ever been kind of a, a more serious runner or another type of athlete, you find your workouts, past, present, and future, just entirely fascinating. Nobody else does, though. I mean, nobody wants to hear about it or see it or any of that. But I can remember just going back through these again and again and again as I was working my way through different training plans. But basically, what I did was record kind of some weather information like here it says it was 17 degrees I don't run if it's 17 degrees 19 degrees is my cutoff or it used to be um, but I've got just about every run and every workout for the entirety of 2011 here and you can see in Sharpie um, the mileage I've got here comes Ernie uh, if uh, see Ernie showed up in one other video um, if y'all have not seen him before <laughs> you little turd Ernie's a recent adoptee. He is a uh, polydactyl and a stage five clinger. <laughs> That's why he's here right now. Anyway, um, you can see how well loved and well used these planners are. Um, <laughs> Ernie, uh, I use Sharpies. I use the ugliest highlighters. Whatever pen I could find, it didn't matter. Um, yeah, and... <laughs> I just love looking back at these. And then I tallied my running. Ernie! Are you are you lonely and bored? Is this what's going on here? Um, I tallied my. <laughs> Y'all, I'm going to stop filming and play with this cat. He's desperate. Uh, he's just young and really energetic. And he really wants me to play with him <laughs> all day long. He doesn't want to. Uh, occupy himself. So here was my mileage for the end of 2011. And I continued on um, in 2012. All my mileage is here. All the workouts when I was ill, when I wasn't, when I was injured. Um, <clears throat> and like I said, looking back at this is just, just incredibly fascinating. And I just figured out today like, I thought when I was running half marathons uh, starting in 2012 that my longest long runs ahead of time, Ernie, were 10 miles, but it looks like I was doing 12. I mean, the pages are falling out. They're, these are so well used. Um, let's see. So, there's my total mileage for 2012, 616 miles. And when I got new shoes... My first half marathon I ever ran. All the little races that I ran this year in 2013 are pink. Um, yeah, but you can see how much I enjoyed using these. 
And this is when we moved into triathlon training. I had a back injury. I can see some swim workouts starting to happen here and some bike workouts along with, I was running a lot. A lot, a lot, a lot. Anyway, all this to say, let's see, 782 miles in 2013. Absolutely fascinating. Um, so, anyway, these old planners, I found them so enjoyable looking back on them while I'm working on my training and stuff. I was thinking I, about how I was going to incorporate my mileage tracking into uh, 2021. Because I finally had, um, I had to stop running because I have exercised or had exercise induced uh, compartment syndrome, meaning that the bottom of my legs would burn like they were on fire when I was running because the fascia around my muscle would not <clears throat> allow my muscle to expand uh, like it should be able to do during exercise. So the fascia was basically strangling my muscles and causing them to burn. So I had the first surgery in June of this year um, and was just starting to heal pretty good from that and started running again when my uh, right leg started having the same symptoms. So basically I thought I was healed and then discovered I was having the same problem in my right leg. Um, no, I didn't cry about it, although I was really tempted. So I had to, again, stop running and then have a second surgery, which happened, uh, let's say the 23rd, like less than three weeks ago. I had the second fasciotomy on my right leg. And so now I'm sort of looking at, you know, being able to start running again. And so I started going back through these old planners and trying to decide how I was going to track my mileage because I do intend you know, <laughs> oh, the Lord willing uh, to start running and to start running long again. Um, so I wanted to track my miles. And if you watched my previous planner videos, um, I decided to track my mood in this um, little block a day spread that they give you in a lot of these Japanese planners. Ernie! <laughs> So I was going to track my mood here, but I think to make it even more informative, I'm going to track both my mileage and my mood because there is going to be, you know, if history is any indicator, a pretty strong correlation between uh, my mood and my miles. The more miles, the better my mood. It's just how it works for me. Um, running, I have an anxiety disorder and running acts on me better than... Uh, better than pharmaceuticals. Let me put it like that. Well, Ernie, let's just show the people, Ern. Let's let them see how pretty you are, Ernie. Oh, 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 what do you say, Ern? <laughs> this little cat's so pitiful. <laughs> anyway, uh, y'all are like, I didn't turn on this channel to look at these cats. I don't know why not. They're so cute. Ernie! Anyway, so what I'm going to do is use this spread with both a color code and, um, putting in my mileage with my gel pen and then at the end of each month I can tote it up and then I can tote it up at the end of the year um, and then just kind of look at my mileage and my mood and how the two um, correlate you know um, if as I get into longer miles am I feeling even better or the shorter miles better um, you know running can really be a way to manage your mental health and so that's what I'm planning on doing Ernie so anyway what I'd like to do is in January I'm gonna start with uh, walking and and hopefully by the end of January I'll get a little running in there it's just gonna depend on how my right leg uh, feels post-surgery and then I'll come back hopefully after January and just show y'all what the mood and miles spread is going to end up looking like in this planner. Anyway, um, <laughs> thanks for putting up with Ernie. I appreciate you watching. I hope you're having a really awesome holiday season and I hope to see you again <laughs> real soon. <laughs> Bye.